YTBC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. And you're live, 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 live on the Coach Show. Coach Show, Coach Sheldon Harrison TV. You're live. You're live, baby. You're live. And let me go ahead and tell y'all now, I'm very excited about Andre Ward fighting Sullivan Barrera. I'm very excited about this fight. Because, you know what? I was one of those people. Yes, I was upset with Andre Ward. I was pissed off, really. That I thought that he was going to try to fight some bum. And, they, you know... And he didn't get to fight that bum. And I'm glad he don't get to fight him because now he's going to get in the ring with one Sullivan Barrera. And people said that Andre Ward, all he want to do is fight a bunch of bums. Well, what y'all got to say about this now? What y'all got to say about this now? Because Sullivan Barrera is a credible opponent. The guy is good. A good, good. What y'all got to say about this? <laughs> Now, think about this. If Andre Ward get in there, well, I predict Andre Ward to get in there and really just take this boy to school. I mean, he going to take Barrera to school, y'all. And that's just the way that is. You can like it, don't like it, sit down and look at it, but it's the truth. Andre Ward is going to take Sullivan Barrera to school. He going to take him to school. Barrera is a good fighter. And yes, 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 that right hand is, is a bit of a weapon. And if he catch Andre Ward with that right hand, whoo. It's going to be a wrap. He got power in both hands, really, y'all. I'm just going to be honest. I, I, you know, either way Andre go, he get caught. With, this dude hit him. Andre Ward could probably go down. But I think Andre Ward going to take this guy to school. I think Andre Ward is going to get in that ring and say, you know what? You're on my grounds now. And I run things in this ring. And Andre Ward is going to take this guy to school. And that's just how that is, okay? And see, now think about it. If Ward defeats Barrera... And if Andre Ward defeats Kovalev, there's not going to be a question in anybody's mind, except for the haters, of course. And we know who the haters are. There will not be a question in anybody's mind that Andre Ward is the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the sport of boxing today. Andre Ward will prove that. But he got to get through Barrera, and he got to take Kovalev to school. These two tasks are not going to be easy, but I think for one Andre Ward, I think Andre Ward will be able to defeat uh, Barrera, and I think he's going to go on to defeat Kovalev. And a lot of people are sitting here running around hating, talking about, well, Andre Ward ain't going to fight Kovalev, he ain't going to fight Kovalev. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you guys, shut up. He is going to fight Kovalev. And, and you know what? And I'm going I'm to I'm make me a video. I'm going to drop me a video. And I'm going to stick it to y'all when that fight get announced. I mean, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to sing. I'm going to dance. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to tap dance. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. Because I'm going to get up under y'all's skin to, to tell you that I told you so. I told you so that this fight was going to take place. I try, I, I'm going to say I tried to tell y'all. I tried to tell y'all. The Kovalev War fight is going to take place. It's going to take place, y'all. And that's just the way that is. And whether you like it or don't like it, you sit down and listen to it, boy, because it is the truth. Well, we got some people in this city, they can't drive worth a darn. People can't drive. And y'all bet y'all can't believe that old coach on the way to an evening church service. You know, I'm staying there for about a good 30, 40 minutes. You know, I ain't trying to stay long. I just want to, you know, just kind of hear a little bit of good word. I know some of y'all going to say, well, coach, you going to church here late on a Sunday night. Yeah, I'm going to go to church. I like church. Church is fun, you know. Then I go to a good church, you know. I, I don't go to a church where the pastor's sitting there pimping out the members. You know, my, my, my church ain't like that, you know. I don't go to a church where, you know, the church is, you know, sitting there in the heart of the hood. And you got a pastor sitting there taking up all this money but not doing nothing for the community. I, I don't got one of these churches. We actually got a good church, you know, got a community outreach. And, you know, we do a lot of stuff for kids going to school. You know, I like this church. I like churches like that, you know. And, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on how to pick a church. You know, if you if you go to church and you choose to go, uh, maybe I'll drop a video about that. Since, you know, and don't ask me, well, what does church got to do with boxing? Andre Ward is a devout Christian. Andre Ward is a devout Christian. Okay? Calls himself S.O.G. Ward. S.O.G. And I, I boy, I, you know what? Yeah. Andre Ward hands on fire, man. His hands are on fire. See, you got, you got, Andre Ward is just on another level. Andre Ward on another level, y'all. And I can see why people really just don't really want to fight him. Like, literally don't. You know what? I got to give a big props to Kovalev. I really do, man. Because Kovalev, 
wanted this fight with no hesitation. Kovalev wanted to fight Ward with no hesitation. And I, I give a shout to Kovalev. I mean, Kovalev ain't a punk. You know, and, you know, it might be a racist, but, you know, that's the subject for another video. But Kovalev got the guts to fight him. Yeah, somebody else <coughs> uh, didn't, you know, really want to step up to the plate to fight Andre Ward, but Kovalev did. Okay? Sullivan Marrera, I got to give you a shout out. I got to give you a shout out because Sullivan Marrera got the guts to step in the ring with Andre Ward. You know, we got some people that don't really want to step in the ring with Andre Ward. <coughs> Triple G. Uh, you know, and, and, and you know, hey, that's just how that is. You know, that's how it is. But what's going to be next for Andre Ward? What is going to be next, you know? He beats uh, Barrera, you know, Kovalev. What does Andre Ward need to do after he beat Kovalev? Because really and truly, Kovalev is the guy. Does Andre Ward need to, you know, stay, you know, in the 175 division? Does he need to stay there? Or should Andre Ward go ahead and move up once again? Because if he defeats Kovalev, he has beat the guy. He has gone. He's, he's raised the level. Kovalev is the guy. That is the monster. Kovalev is a certified bona fide monster. Because Kovalev, not afraid to take a fight. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, I know some people don't like Kovalev. I don't like Kovalev, but I gotta I gotta really say real recognize real and Kovalev ain't afraid to fight anybody. But what does Ward do? What does Ward do when he defeats Kovalev? Who else is left? I think his only option is Andre Ward might even have to move up again. I don't know, though. See, I, I don't know if he moves up again, man, you know, if he'll be able to, you know, really, really be able, you know, will his power travel up, you know, if he move, if he move up again. You know, I, I don't know. But, you know, that's just the way that is. All right, y'all. Old coach is rolling up here to get him in about 45 minutes of an evening church service, you know, coming to learn about what we do and why we do it and how to be stewards. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Stay in school. Because it is what it is. But we cannot, we cannot deny that Andre Ward is looking to be legendary. Of course Andre Ward is trying to be legendary. Of course he is. Andre Ward is going to be legendary. Just you guys watch and see. Watch what I tell y'all. But... I showed up at church. Y'all can see the entrance to the church. It's right there. There it is. Okay, I go to one of those big churches. But, you know, you know, we're talking about the community outreach and, you know, how they want to reach a lot of these young men that's, you know, going to rock. See, that's the kind of church I can roll with. You know, that's the kind of church I can roll with. You know, churches that's trying to do something for these young men. These young men that's, you know, don't got their head on straight. You know, I'm for a church like that. I'm all for it. I'm pro-church if we're trying to help these young men. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.